Hello friend, because it is the last week of June, I wanted to show you 10 sustainable, ethical, vegan, and cruelty-free LGBTQ plus and queer owned brands. So let's start off with number one. The first company is Atomic Gold and they make jewelry out of reclaimed gold, which is so cool. Obviously, if you don't know, the jewelry industry is not the most ethical or sustainable. Obviously, it takes a lot of resources to mine for the metals that are used to make jewelry and there's also a lot of like child and slave labor involved in like getting diamonds and so the jewelry industry as a whole is not the most ethical or sustainable unfortunately so i love that they're using reclaimed gold everything is made in their nyc studio they use inclusive models they are trans and queer owned and Overall, they make really, really high quality pieces. I've been eyeing them for such a long time, but they're definitely expensive because they are made of reclaimed gold, they are made to last, and they don't have like any discounts or sales because they price their products fairly and how they should be priced, which I always love a good transparent price. So definitely check them out if you're looking for any sort of jewelry. The next company is Fluid or We Are Fluid and they make vegan and cruelty free inclusive makeup. So they also sell biodegradable glitter and I'm embarrassed to admit that I have worn plastic glitter to a pride event in the past, which I will not be doing again. So if you're interested in biodegradable glitter, they do have some, they also have plastic glitter, which I'm not a fan of, but they also have nail polish, lipstick, lip gloss, eyeliner, uh, eyeshadow. I mean, the list goes on and on. They have a ton of really great products and they actually have color. I've kind of been in like this natural clean side of like the beauty space and they don't have fun colors Which I love fun colors and makeup. So if you're interested in like fun colors definitely check out fluid The third brand is Terrence Williams designs and these are handmade ethically and sustainably sourced accessories and clothing they make dusters scarves headbands capes Cardigans, I have been eyeing their headbands for probably almost a year now and I just need to bite the bullet and buy one. They're so cute. Terrence also makes zero waste cardigans, which means there is no waste involved in the production of the cardigans, which is so cool as well. And obviously very fitting for this channel. Karen Finch is the fourth brand and they make men's inspired clothing that is sustainably and ethically made, which we always love. Karen Finch is also size inclusive. They have sizes zero to size 24 or three X. So if you have an androgynous, a tomboy style, or you just love menswear inspired clothing, definitely this is the brand to check out. The next brand is The Well People, and I have a feeling a lot of you have heard of them before. I've even seen them at Target, but they are a clean beauty and makeup company. They sell foundation, blush, bronzer, mascara, eyeshadow, brow gel, eyeliner, lipstick, lip gloss, and more. They're also EWG verified if that is something that you look for in products. They're non-toxic, cruelty-free, clean beauty products, so definitely check them out. The sixth brand is Kiss My Face, and it's a brand that I never knew was LGBTQ plus owned, but I've seen it at grocery stores. I think I've seen it at even like Target possibly, and at natural grocery stores especially, but everything is cruelty free and like natural products. They have toothpaste, deodorant, shampoo, soap, hand sanitizer. They also have mineral sunscreens that are reef safe, which is a huge plus. They just have zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, and if you saw my last Zero waste sunscreen review video, you know those are like the safe ingredients for sunscreen, so keep that in mind. But yeah, they just make clean and cruelty free products. So there's another brand that you probably didn't know was LGBTQ plus owned, but is. Number seven is Homoco, which is kind of a fun brand name, honestly. They're a queer swimwear brand. So they make their trunks out of recycled plastic and they also have t-shirts made from sustainably sourced Tencel. If you don't know, Tencel is one of the most sustainable fabric options out there. They also donate a portion of their sales to queer rights organizations as well. 
And next we have another swimwear company. It's Beefcake Swimwear. They're based out of Portland, Oregon, and they make 1920s inspired swimsuits that are one pieces. They're very unique and they are size inclusive. So they have sizes extra small to 5X, which we love a great size range like that. They're made from recycled plastic and they're also hand sewn and cut from people that are actually paid a living wage in Portland, Oregon, and they are printed in small batches to ensure their quality. So if you are looking for swimwear, especially a unique swimwear company like this, this is definitely one to check out. Plus they're sustainably and ethically made. Number nine is Noto, and they make natural, vegan, multi-use body care products for everyone. Everything is gender fluid. Obviously, beauty products have no gender. They make cleansers, oils, serums, creams, lip and cheek colors, highlighters, and a ton of other products as well. And they also have a store in LA. Number 10 is Otherwild, and they are a queer women-owned store, studio, and event space in LA, but they also have an online store, and it's filled with zero waste products. So that's why I thought this would definitely be something that you all would be interested in. They also have a lot of handmade goods from artists and designers. Uh, they sell apparel, accessories, housewares. They have an apothecary section on their website too. So I definitely think this is a storefront that you all would be interested in. So I hope this video helped you discover some new brands that are LGBTQIA plus owned. I know some of these brands I had never heard of before for making this video. And I always love finding new sustainable brands. It's always a plus in my book. So happy June, happy Pride Month. I hope you are embracing your awesome selves and happy Pride, whether you are out or not. And thank you to all my allies out there and just love yourself, be who you are, embrace your awesomeness. You do you. If you have any other queer owned, LGBTQ owned brands or companies that are sustainable, vegan, ethical, any of the above, any and all of the above, make sure to comment them down below so that we can share them and check them out. I hope you guys liked this video. I'm gonna have more videos on the screen that you can check out. And just remember, you do not have to be perfect to live sustainably. I will see you in my next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like if you liked it, and I will see you next time. Bye.